So we are live. Uh, good evening, everyone, the audience and the panelists. A very warm welcome to everyone to the Asia series, the new initiative of Asian Literary Society. And uh, I'm excited to host the first session of the same series today. We have with us two very eminent writers from our two neighboring countries, uh, Mr. Roop Singh Bhandari from Nepal. Welcome, Mr. Roop Singh. And we have Mr. Jigme yeah, Jamsu from Bhutan. Welcome, Mr. Jigme. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Roop Singh and Mr. Jigme are regular uh, contributors to ALS events. And uh, with the vision of uh, Asian Literary Society to, end, uh, to, to bring more writers on board from all the other countries, we started this series to introduce writers and poets from other countries to our uh, to our group so that we are basically expanding our reach out there and we know that you know there are very good writers out there in other countries and we would really want to listen to their poetry and we would really want them to recite and share their views with us here today so uh, without further delay i would just like to start the session uh, since we have two poets among us today, yeah. so a few lines from me on poetry. As you all know, I'm also a poet. Um, poetry makes me believe in the miracle called life. Poetry makes me believe in the magic of words. Poetry makes me believe in the power of emotions. Poetry makes me believe in the beauty of the world. Poetry makes me believe in the wonders of nature. Poetry makes me believe in thyself, in myself. With these few lines, I would like to start today's session by introducing Mr. Roop Singh Bandari. Mr. Roop Singh Bandari is a poet and social activist, social activist from Karnali province of Nepal. He is director of IAYSP Rubs. South Asia. He has completed his MED. MA and MPhil degree in English from Tribhuvan University. He writes in English, Nepali, and Hindi, three languages. Several of his poems, articles, and short stories have been published. He's the founder of Words Highway International, which is a writer's association. Welcome aboard, Mr. Roop Singh Bhandari. A few lines from you regarding the initiative of ALS. Thank you so much, Madam Bandana, Madam. Thank you so much. I express my gratitude to Asian Literary Society and all the entire hardworking team. Thank you so much. Okay. We now move forward to our another panelist for the day, Mr. Jigme Jamsho. Mr. Jigme Jamsho is a passionate nature poet from the land of Bhutan. He started writing poems in high school, and so far he has written more than 500 poems. That's a great feat. His poems have been published in many international magazines and writing forums. He has also co-authored the anthology titled Under the Heaven on Earth and another one titled A Thousand Words. Mr. Jigme, welcome to ALS Asia series. A few words from hey, you regarding the you. Uh, thank you so much, madam. I, on behalf of uh, my country, Bhutan, and all the aspiring writers uh, from Bhutan, I want to thank uh, Asian Literary Society for giving this opportunity. And uh, with this, uh, I'm very honored uh, to be here. Thank you so much, madam. You're most welcome, sir. Uh, Mr. Roop Singh Bhandari, uh, let's uh, start with you. And uh, I would uh, we, uh, yeah. we had we had a number of panelists from Nepal a couple of weeks ago, and uh, we are aware that Nepal yeah. is a land of writers. And I was told that uh, if someone yeah. wants to know about Nepal, you should read, read the literature of Nepal. So uh, yeah, we sure. hope that you will, uh, you know, um, you will hope. I hope that you will share some insights about Nepal with us and uh, recite your poetry alongside. Uh yeah, sure. Yeah, madam. Thank you so much, uh, Bandana, madam. Uh, this is a great opportunity to me also uh, from it's the a land of to Nepal, have you here. Himalaya. Yeah, I am so much thankful to your literary society as well as because uh, you have been doing great job uh, for the literature, arts, and culture. You know, once uh, Albert Camus said that we, without literature, arts, and culture, 
is society like a jungle and animal remains like the animals. Therefore, we are comp contributing in from different ways and we are interconnecting this the whole universe through this literature. I believe there's. And about Nepal, yeah, this is the land of rishis, you know, gurus. And this is the, the land, land of, of this is the spiritual land, Mayan land, yeah. And the brave Burkhali land, you know, and the Nepal is famous for the world about this. So today, I, without any uh, delay, I will express the characteristic of this land through my poem. So I'll recite two poems. First, maybe I'll recite a poem about Himalaya. So it goes like this. Himalayas, the university of life. Uh, my title. And it goes yeah. like this. Yeah. Blossom the peace tree on the backdrop of the verdant hills with the birds, multiple vibrant voices, but unchanged song. The green mountains seem in the morning prayer facing the white Himalayas through north. The Himalayas range seems in a deep meditation like old spiritual gurus Hello. who are from ancient teaching the philosophy of creation undisguised. Himalayas, the apartment of goddesses. Himalayas, the apartment of goddesses, sings the serene, silent, unheard song every day and arrest all the humans storm its mystic mantras blankets the life's oldness its beauty envelops all ugliness of mundane unfinished wounds the stony concepts the rigidity the gaps and the orthodox walls of all prejudice everything it debunks by its distilled philosophy unmoved it is a scripture without letters. It is a scripture without letters, a sign without roofs and doors. In fact, Himalayas is an university of life where, where everyone can graduate just mirroring it being Himalaya without listening any dull lecturers, Himalaya, the university of life. Thank you so much. This is my first Very one. beautiful. How beautiful you have presented. I mean, it was like a complete picture of Himalayas. I was lost in your words. Beautiful imagery, Mr. Roop Singh. Wonderful. Uh, I'll move on to Mr. Jigme. I think Mr. Roop Singh's network has some issue. Yeah, he's back. He's back with us. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, yeah. yeah. Wonderful, wonderful recitation and a wonderful poem, Mr. Roop Singh. The, so, job. madam, did you listen my no, poem or not? I have to recite again. No, 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 no. I could, I could listen everything. I could listen everything, and that's what I'm saying. The, the word, yeah. the way in which you have presented your words, the glow was visible on your face when you were reading those words. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll move on to Mr. Jigme, and then I'll come back to you, Mr. Roop Singh. Yeah. Mr. Jigme Jamso, a few words from you from the land of Bhutan. Something yes, sir, about sir, the sir. literature of Bhutan, you know, um, something that brings insight to all the others sitting here from other different countries. Uh, thank you so much, madam. Uh, Bhutan is uh, for the for the new members and for a person who don't know about the Bhutan. Uh, Bhutan is a very tiny uh, country between two giants uh, in the South uh, India and in the North China. And uh, we are well known by the name Dragon Land, the land of Thunder Dragon, and uh, mm -hmm. popularly called and uh, popularly known by the land of happiness. Land of and the uh, land of happiness, yeah, because oh. uh, our great fort, uh, the, our king believed that uh, yeah. the uh, happiness, who, uh, I mean, the, it's a vision and a mission of our king to. Uh, uh, live the uh, live up uh, with the happiness of uh, all the people uh, of our country. How amazing! How amazing. And with this, uh, I want to start with a short uh, uh, poem. The yeah. time is passing by, second to minute. Body is aging old, wrinkled like walnut. Only the beautiful evening sunset walk 
remembers forever as lovely story to talk. Uh, so with this, uh, I want to uh, let me start with my uh, first poem, A Morning Dew. It's all related to the nature, the beauty uh, about, uh, about the nature, yeah. Uh, yeah. Morning Dew. Early morning before the lark sing, rays of sun in the verge of run, hills are brightening with the rays of lighting. Creatures are awake from one night break, humans set up to bustle, insect burst in puzzle, rhythm of nature dance, chilling breeze in romance, melodies of chirping robins, soothing begins, sun shines over the hills, smiling rays that hills, mundane life in darkness. By the brightness, rays travel so fast, fly catchers to the ghost, place warmth by the sun, heart desire to run, mind linger, soul be a silent finger. Except for the dew, morning dew, peaceful, perfect, and bright, firm and so bright, tiny but a, uh, but with pride. Shines that last until the creature disturbs the nature. Oh, creature, we the human kill the dew by the lack of inhuman. Thank you so much. It's my first uh, so uh, poem. Thank you. First poem in the sense, the first poem you'd ever written? No, 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 no. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, for, for, today's, uh, for today's session. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is beautiful. I mean, you explained the morning beauty in a very blissful way, and it was really very enjoyable. Uh, and uh, uh, also so about the uh, session, yeah. yeah. I love yeah. uh, uh, yes, present the nature. Thank you so much. Nature is a great muse for all the writers, isn't it? Especially poets, because uh, it's like never-ending muse, and you can keep writing on and on and on and on, and still there will be so much more that you will want to write. And uh, the way I read your bio, uh, you are also uh, fond of photography. And yeah. Uh, yeah, and I read that you like to, yeah, you like to write about uh, nature more than anything else, right? Yeah. yeah, so your poem was actually a reflection of your passion. Thank you. Uh, moving on to Mr. Roop Singh. Yeah. Welcome back, Mr. Roop Singh. Yeah. I lost you for a couple of uh, minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. So, um, can we have another piece yeah. from you? Yeah, thank you, madam. Yeah, I have a um, little bit poor network situation. So, please consider it. No, 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 problem. Really... no problem. Yeah. So, yeah, I am so much, uh, I feel so much happy that listening from my fellow poet from Bhutan. Yeah, we are in the same landscapes <laughs> and we are, we are, we connect each other's heart. Yeah, uh, we are feel also the same. A poetry is also the most a diamond genre of literature. We know that, and it's easily connects from the ancient time till now. So, without further delay, I read another my poem here. Uh, recently, you know, monsoon devastated everything in Nepal, including China and everywhere in. Uh, this, uh, this region. So um, I, in Nepal also many people lost their life. And looking at that scenario, I have uh, recently composed this poem, a dead piece. Uh, so, you know, nature is like very beautiful. At the same time, it has also cliff side. So now I'll recite another poem about dead piece, a couple's uh, monologue, uh, soliloquy, something like that. Dead piece. Staring at debris of house swept by last night flood, a couple sitting tearless, lifeless, near the grave of their universe. Bulbs of clouds merging and separating without any rhythm over the sky is their heart. Trees standing frightened, a soaked cat lashed by heavy flood. Birds queeing somewhere far in jungle. All the sign of their aliveness, breaking the distance silence, the virgin's Mars smell floating unnoticed. A lucky dog, a lucky dog sneaking between them seems in trauma. It is late morning, a monster silence, 
in the horrific background music of swelled Munson River after the heavy rain of last night. But there is life, but there is life there for, and there are many tomorrows still. Uncertainty not only terrors, but sometimes unlocks hope as well as. Like the helicopter dimmed sound in the sky, looking at the soiled mountain river, which is running hurriedly down, stealing the colors of women's happiness, a poor couple's stopping their inner landslide, sitting tongueless since last night. Their laughter seems mixed with roaring river, happiness being pieces seems heading to distantless kingdom, keeping them alone, uncontaining dead peace. Thank you so much. I love the title. It was so moving. Dead peace itself, you know, instills very different feelings in you. Very nicely bent. Very nicely bent. Wonderful. I'm so amazed to see three writers Thank you so much. being on the same platform. This is the power of writing, you know. I mean, uh, people brought together just because of their, you know, uh, literary works. I mean, all three of us from different countries on a single platform. I mean, I'm really obliged and grateful to Asian Literary Society and Manoj Krishnan for organizing this event. It, it is very, I mean, it is a wonderful yeah. feeling to be here today. Yes. Uh, I'll move on to Mr. Jigme. Yeah or another piece for him. Thank you, Mr. Rup Singh Bhandari. We really love your poetry. Mr. Jigme, uh, yeah, can you have another uh, one of your writings, please? Like Madam was uh, mentioning, I'm always thankful to Mr. Manoj, uh, the founder of uh, Asian Literary. I have yeah. been writing and contributing uh, uh, before, but uh, for a few days, I could not uh, join and I could not contribute because of my busy schedule in my school. So I'm very sorry. Uh, and then uh, my next poem, I want to uh, share about my recent uh, a poem that I wrote uh, while uh, we were uh, facing a second lockdown. So it is uh, the title of the poem is uh, Locked Again. Uh, here it is. Wrapped uh, into the four worlds of peace, thinking with beloved family at least, mine lingers with thousands of hope, though frozen feathers cage in love. Wall is walking back to darkness, though sun shines with brightness. As golden rays have become weak, human rigs is racing top in the peak. Tiny diagonal land between the giant, graced by blessing of God's divine. Visionary king girding in front line for the people's safety to keep fine. Rhythm of nature losing the reason. Time is upset for the unsung reason, unsung season. Nothing needs to invite for the dance, as the song of birds gives no sense. Keep washing hands, time and again, physical distance but mentally clean. Always use mask but speak the truth. Let's live with bold forever like a youth. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. This is uh, the end of my second. <laughs> thank you so much, thank you so much. It was such a lovely poem, short and sweet in every way. Thank you, thank you yeah. so much, ma'am. So Mr. Jigme. You've you mentioned that you've been writing since your high school. So yes, uh, yes. It's, it's been a long journey for you, right? So I'm sure there has been a lot of learning and growth as well along the way. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, and one thing is, uh, uh, usually in the Buddhist countries, uh, teachers, uh, they really encourage and encourage us to write uh, from the early age. And we used to write and we used to scribble. And it was not that uh, really a nice poem and a nice piece. But still then I used to keep writing. And uh, from my college days, then I used to collect my poems. And then after uh, uh, after I got a job, it was mm -hmm. just uh, five to six years ahead that uh, I got opportunity to join in this type of uh, uh, po poem forum, this type of uh, forum, like uh, Asian literacy. Society, yeah. like which there is so many forum to forum where we get lots of chance, we got uh, lots of uh, opportunity to write. So because of this uh, forum, uh, I have become so much active in writing. So I'm always indebted to these forums. La. And first and foremost thing is this uh, literary, this uh, Asian society. La. I'm very much uh, thankful. La. Thank you so much. 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 Th
thank you so much for your kind words mr jigme i think uh, manoj would be very happy to hear all this because that's what his uh, ultimate uh, purpose has been of, you know um, and, and let me, let me, uh, uh, there is lots of uh, aspiring writers from bhutan uh, mm -hmm. and i also encourage a uh, lots of my friends and my families even my yeah. students they are trying yeah. their best to participate in uh, writing poems uh, yeah. and like this uh, opportunity and they are always forward and i know many of them have already started and already joined to asian literary uh, society la i always try to share with them and they are really happy they are really encouraged inspired to write poems la see actually these contests help us to you know keep moving in some way so they give us some direction uh, yeah. one particular theme will give us a direction to think on and you know as we keep writing every week or maybe even in fortnight i obviously you know it helps improve our writing skills so i think these platforms are very necessary and especially in the last two years of the covid times i think this writing is the one which has kept us all going yes ma'am yes sure ma'am yeah would you want to read one more of your poem then i'll move on to mr rupsin pandal because we still have time so if you want to read a short one of yours one more mm yeah uh Mm, yeah madam yeah so yeah, if you yeah so if you ask me to read another poem i need to go to my um, file first i will uh, yeah so, so in the meanwhile uh, sir with the permission from sir ban singh can i share my short uh, poem yes, yes sure sure so yes, you can go ahead and then i i am ready after that <laughs> yeah the echoes of silence uh very good yeah. of silence i woken by the bouncing ball through the broken window shaking my dream wall to fall into pieces in the dark shadow heartbeat race with the sun rays with frozen fears in the silence throbbing with rhythm of blue sky beyond the wall of heart tolerance room was filled with emptiness where my melancholic soul mingled all night around the wilderness tempting to dance with twinkle broken dream make a loud call through lovely designed window wishing autumn in rhythmic fall with the design of truly meadow echoes of silence is not silent when the nature of beauty invites even the angry heart shows talent and warm welcome with open sights thank you thank you how beautiful how beautiful very nicely pen very nicely pen I mean, this poem should be read. Uh, it was kind of bringing, uh, you know, very yeah. sense of calmness and peace. Very yeah, nice. Mr. Yeah. Rupsing Bandari, uh, do you want to recite yeah. one more of yours? Yeah, surely, madam. I will recite a one short poem here. Uh, yeah, I believe poem poetry evokes the truth actually, mm -hmm. because uh, many of our scriptures also have been. Um, Came as a um, poetry, you know, in the in, in poetry, yeah. So it yeah. means that poetry related with truth. So without uh, uh, without delay, I will go to my another poem. Its yeah. uh, title is a dilemma. Dumb dilemma. time. This I wrote because of um, Corona. Uh, this time of Corona, yeah. <laughs> Dumb time eroding the people's ego, crafting its statue of power. the life begging a breath submitting is empty answers copy to death i am in grand dilemma in fact what we nurture life or death in times cocoon in times cocoon thank you it's beautiful sir pretty moving yeah yeah, yeah. Thank you so much thank you so much mr jigme singh and with your permission i would just want to recite one piece of my own writing and sure madam thank Would you love so much to... thank you so much so um the poem is titled i am my own art not all who wander have lost the game yeah not all who wander have lost the game i am not a drift don't attempt to fit me in your frame i have a voice and my viewpoint is small I am my own art and masterpiece not a collage to all I may seek your opinion when I am being tried I may seem disoriented or even mystified 
But I am a learner, growing steadily at my pace, discerning my own answers in this life's race. I know where my heart gleams and where it fades. I know its hues, forms, and shades. I know what I wish to sketch each day. I know where I want red or white, or define it subtly just by gray. I believe in myself, and I believe in your dreams too. For each of us, have our paths to pursue. So if I hear your silence and I cheer you to ace, why can't you let me outshine my space? You may indubitably be a king of your realm. In my space, I'm the queen meant to gleam. Don't try to sabotage or emasculate my feet. I don't ascend to be a picture on your concrete. My decisions are mine. I don't owe you an explanation. I welcome your enthusiasm, but refute your intrusion. I refuse to act or react to appease, because my life is my canvas and I am its masterpiece. I know it was pretty strong. <laughs> And it was pretty assertive kind of a poem. Very, very beautiful. Powerful. <laughs> but it was written nice. on one of those days, you know, when you really feel against the entire world. And <laughs> 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 That's true. So I hope it didn't come out too yes. strong. And uh, with your permission, there is one more on a lighter tone because I started with a heavy one. So I'll <laughs> end with a warm one. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, uh, this poem has been, the poem is titled A Heart in Love and uh, the poem follows a particular form of poetry called Terzanel. I'm not sure if uh, uh, you have heard of it or ever tried it. I am really fond of trying various forms of poetry. So this is a Terzanel. It has certain rules of, you know, um, syllables, number of lines and uh, yes. number of words in each line. Far away, I know you wait for me. I see you every time I close my eyes. In a labyrinth I am across the sea. My heart urges to break all the ties. An incessant yearning to be in your arms. As I see you every time I close my eyes. The night is here with all its charm. I lie awake thinking of you. With an incessant yearning to be in your arms. Would you ever be mine? I have no clue. Why are paths crossed? Do we call it fate? I lie awake, thinking of you. My heart and soul pine to liberate. The conundrum of life is too baffling. Why are paths crossed? Do we call it fate? A mystery life seems to be unraveling. A future I dream with you, yet I cannot see. The conundrum of life is too baffling. In a labyrinth, I am across the sea. So, mm, uh, yeah, sweet. I uh, hope it all the aggression it, that was visible in the previous one. Um, <laughs> one minute to answer your point. Sorry? Uh, can I take one minute to answer your poem? <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. I would yeah. be delighted. It, uh, answer to your poem. Uh, the title is uh, Love Story. Love story. Oh, yeah. Yeah, seen the day we met, our eyes met. From the ocean of our eyes, our heart and soul rise, and we become one like two wings flying alone. Frozen fears all melt, happiness built, bounded, we are together, sing or swim forever. Here's only rhythm of song, reasons of melodies among, caring of your cute ways, magical are our ways. Sun rays are waiting. Every ray comes with singing. Summer rain has scorched. Every droplet comes with hope. Heaven, I don't want to think when you are there in every blink. Hell is a remorse when love rules the source. Can't think any beside you. You are my only clue. Your name is only what I take. So any magical we can make, promise we can build with strongest shield. I assure with you, life is bliss. And I seal my love with a kiss. My heart is already yours. 
without any fears, let our love rule forever as a true lover. Thank you, ma'am. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you chose the right moment to recite this poem. It absolutely provides an answer to what I had written. Yeah. I'm sure uh, the audience also liked it because I'm, uh, you know, getting some very good comments. Uh, Anupita mm -hmm. Anupita saying, great Mr. Jigme. And uh, Manoj is yeah. also praising Jigme a lot. I think you, uh, be, you, both of you deserve an applause for today's session. And I'm really grateful that you, both of you joined us and uh, made this evening more, uh, you know, delightful for the audience, for our uh, members of the Asian Literary Society. And we hope to see more of people, uh, more of the writers from Nepal and Bhutan. And we certainly would want to welcome you, both of you, once again. Thank, thank, you. You, so thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your all endeavor. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs>